everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a second part to my zero waste essentials. If you haven't seen that already, make sure you check that out. I'll link it down below and I'll link it right here or here at the top of the video so you can check it out. But I have added a few products to my life that have replaced some of my either plastic products or non-refillable products that are now refillable. The Good Fill, which I had mentioned before that was a pop-up, is now actually a local store here in Nashville. So let's just get right into it. The first thing that I got was this dish soap, and it's, so it's not for the dishwasher, but it's like dish soap. And I did try using a dish soap bar, and I didn't like it. I felt like it wasn't very sudsy, so this one was refillable at the Good Fill. I think everything I got at the Good Fill. So I'll make sure to tag her and to link her down below her shop. Her name is Megan, by the way, and the owner. Love this. And in the last video, I talked about like an at-home all-purpose cleaner. Well, actually, I got some comments on that last video, and I agree with them. I wanted something natural, but had a little bit more kick than just like vinegar. I wanted assurance that it was actually going to deep clean. So I think this has some sort of like alcohol, something or another, which I'm sure you can make at home as well. But I feel best having somebody else do it for me. And so that's what this is, is a all-purpose cleaner. I actually add my own essential oils to it as well, and it smells really good, it works. I actually put it in my, my little swiper thing to clean the floors, I use that as well. So I just put it in there and it works like a charm. And I clean my mirrors with it too, so. The other thing I just picked up were these rounds. For taking off my makeup, I usually just use a washcloth and jojoba oil, but I just also recently got, I guess I'll just show you right now, I got some witch hazel for facial toner. I haven't had a facial toner since like I was like really young and I was using it for acne, which witch hazel is good for that as well. But yeah, so she has refillable witch hazel, which is amazing. So I've now added that to my regimen. Put on one of these and then I just like rub it all over my face. That's it. Staying in the face routine. I just picked this up. I'm so excited. I've normally, I normally use just a jojoba oil, which comes in plastic. It can be recycled, but I'd rather get something that's refillable and in glass. So this oil is from the Goodfill. Like I said, everything's from the Goodfill. And it's jojoba oil and lots of other good stuff. I'll probably just pop them up all over the screen right here, right now. Volley, amazing, yummy ingredients. So I'm really excited to see how my skin does with it. I used it today, but we'll see how it goes. And then to wash my face, I actually get this facial cleanser. They do have a body wash that I use on my face in the shower. It's, again, it's like all natural and it works just fine, but this is targeted for skin on your face. And so far, like, I mean, I've, I've gotten it refilled a couple times and I absolutely love it. And this is the body wash that I end up getting that I use on my face as well in the shower. Oh, going back to face for a second. I did get this facial brush, which is pretty intense, to be honest. You're technically supposed to use it dry, I think, but I use it with soap and water because it's pretty harsh. I use it on my face and on my neck and it's a really good exfoliant and good for the lymphatic system. I also use this hairbrush, it's all natural wood. This is my new loofah I just got. I did have another natural loofah that I was using but it's super flimsy so I like using that like in the tub because it's just really gentle. This is an exfoliant and I love the way that feels in the shower. I just basically want to just peel my skin off. It just feels so good. And then I got this tongue scraper. I've been wanting a tongue scraper. It's really good for, you know, rejuvenating your taste buds and getting like the gunk out of your mouth and off of your tongue. Once you do this, you see like the stuff that comes off and you're just appalled that you didn't start sooner. We have my new and improved, I think it's improved, laundry detergent. So the last one that I had was also from the Goodfill, but it's the powder and it's, it. I had the, I think it was like scent free or something. I'm just used to having liquid laundry detergent. So I went with this one and it's the lavender one, which it smells so amazing and so relaxing. And I don't know, I just feel like I have better control over that. Although that doesn't even make sense that I would over the powder, but it's just what I'm used to, you know? One last thing that I kind of wanted to mention was an aspect of like the zero waste lifestyle that I think is really important. First of all, zero waste is not the goal. It's about being as low impact as you can. I believe the most important thing is to live as stress-free as possible, like for your humanity and for your like well-being. Do not stress about things being zero waste and plastic free and all that. Just do the best that you can. And another way you can do that is to be aware of how and what you're consuming. You know, Adam and I live in this tiny apartment. We're looking for a house to rent. 
and even still we're still building slowly up like our all of our furniture and most everything that we literally almost everything we have I would venture even to say 97 percent of everything that we have in our house was either gifted to us or we thrifted it at like a thrift store or a Goodwill or we bought it off of someone on Facebook market so yeah I think that's another way to be a part of the zero waste movement and lifestyle is to repurpose all kinds of things, whether it's furniture or clothes. There's always more ways that you can help the environment and help reduce waste. So anyway, that's just my two cents, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this updated zero waste essentials. Oh, I also got this Epsom salt. Can you see it? It's like blowing out. I got these Epsom salts in bulk. Good fill. I use them in my bath because duh, it's Epsom salts and why not? If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me know what kind of videos that you like. Comment down below what other zero waste products have you added into your life and something that I can learn from you. Others can learn from you. So much love from me to you. Bye guys.